Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 11.4 has been out for oh, quite a few days now and I thought I'd do a follow up on it. Now I've been using it on my main device, my iPhone 10 right now. I also am running it on an iPhone 7 Plus that I have here. I also have it on my iPad Pro and as many devices as I can try out. Now I've been using it like I said, and I have some pretty mixed feelings about this one. Now, one of the main problems I had earlier on was that it actually didn't charge on my wireless battery charger. So I had that early on in the betas, and then I experienced that with this public release. So I set it on the charger for the night, and my battery didn't charge at all. And I actually had to do, I had to turn it off or do a hard reset to get it to work again. I experienced this in earlier betas and unfortunately it's shown up again. Now, until today, I haven't really had great battery life. Today it's been really good. You can see here it's 38% and we'll talk more about that. Some of you responded to me on Twitter from a poll and the YouTube community page and also a question I recently asked before making this video about battery. But 38% on my iPhone 10, and we'll take a look at usage, go down to battery, and my battery health is still at 100%. A lot of you ask me how that is, and it's it's fine, it's in beta, so I haven't done anything special. I just charge it overnight every night, and I've talked about that in some other videos. But you'll see I've mainly been using Twitter, Messages, YouTube Studio, Mail, and if I scroll all the way to the bottom, six hours and 16 minutes of usage, 15 hours and 50 minutes of standby. And again, that's with 37%. I haven't plugged in it at all today or set it on a wireless charger or anything like that. Now I tweeted this out and quite a few of you responded with positive results. Now let me go back here and you're still responding. So some of you are saying mine so far, three hours. Still pretty impressed, seven to eight hours. Some people are asking how I do this. This is 4% left. Quite a few of you are getting pretty decent battery life. Now, I don't know what device you're on, but iPhone 6 with 100% capacity, I get five hours max from an, from 11.4. That's probably about right with an iPhone 6, to be honest. This has a pretty big battery in it. You'll see five hours, three minutes, 5% left. So depending on which device you have is going to make all the difference in the world. So it's pretty good overall. Now, before I go into all the different Twitter results and things, the stuttering on the phone has been okay. Sometimes it, it stutters and jitters when I scroll, sometimes just doing that. You may have seen it while I was in the settings. It stuttered a little bit and there's some frame rate drops. There's also... Uh, some issues with getting out of apps. Now, what I was in was I was in YouTube. I went to open another app. I couldn't close the YouTube app, even even swiping from the side, from the bottom. I had to eventually push power up or volume up, volume down, hold the power button until I got the power screen, and then it freed up the app and I could finally get to the other app that I wanted to. I couldn't swipe. I couldn't go back and forth between apps or anything. It just was really weird, and that's on the public release. So... After a hard reset with that battery issue, everything's been great. So I don't know what went on there, but something was strange. And now on Twitter, I asked and YouTube, how has it been for you? And 61% said great, 10% terrible, and 29% said okay, but still some bugs. This was 973 votes. I had a great response both on here and YouTube. And there are quite a few responses. I'm only going to go over a few because there's so many on both. So let's scroll down somewhere in the middle. I've read most of these, but we'll just cover a few. So works great on an iPhone 8 plus. It says some, a lot of people complain about the battery and then they don't have issues. It seems like it cleared itself up today. It's very strange. iPhone 10, not bad. Let's see. Also delay in adopting background color. We'll take a look at this one. You'll see there's some shift. Some people have been complaining of it being shifted to the left when you're on the home screen. There's some really weird jittery bugs. And I'm hoping with iOS 12 that we should see on Monday, June 4th at this point, uh, that we should see some major improvements. Now, that's not going to be out to the public until September, but it should be neat to see it. Again, iPhone 5S, I feel like iOS 11.3.1 is slightly faster. Okay, but still some bugs. Mine, iPhone 6, let's see what the bug is. I'm not sure what this one is. I haven't seen this one. The same issue. Oh, and I do have that bug on here as well. Let's look at a couple more. 
I've been getting a massive amount of lag on my 6S. Some apps take five to six seconds to load. Oddly, battery life is great. No issues on the SE. iPhone 7 Plus, just like iOS 11.3, I don't see improvements. It's doing pretty good, but I'm using the iPhone 8 Plus, and it's awesome. So let's take a look at that bug. I mentioned this in previous videos. It's still there. If you go to settings, go to notifications, scroll down to wherever it is, FaceTime, turn show on as banners, turn it off. It crashes every single time on this and my iPhone 8 Plus. Same thing. So those are all of the different replies on Twitter. Let's take a look at YouTube. Now on YouTube, there were a lot more responses, about two and a half thousand more. So 3.5K or 3,500 votes or so. 61% said great, 9% terrible, 31% said okay, but still some bugs. Pretty consistent with what we had on Twitter over here. So 174 comments, I'm not going to go through all of them, but if you want to see this, you can go to my community page, if you're subscribed, and check it out. So let's take a look. We'll just scroll down and pick some because... There's so many, uh, I have been looking over them and let's see, great battery life is good enough and everything seems to work fine. I'm on, using an iPhone seven. The now playing widget on the lock screen is still broken though. Other than that, it's been the same as 11.3.1. .1. I'm on iPhone seven. See if we can find some, some bugs. I, I'm still confused whether to update on the seven plus or not. Well, uh, I'm not sure if it's great. It seems to be okay. Terrible Galaxy S9 Plus. I'm using an iPhone 5S. It's okay, but I noticed my battery draining fast compared to iOS 11.3.1. .1. I guess give it a day or two and see what happens. Great iPhone 10, iPhone 7 Plus, some app crashes, YouTube benchmarks, some games, good battery life, 2 or 3% increase. Great, great, great. Let's scroll a little bit further. Terrible. Bad battery life on my iPhone 7, 11.3.1 .1 had perfect battery life, so downgraded back to it. If you want to downgrade back to it, you better do it now because once Apple stops signing it, you won't be able to do that. So uh, if you want to, go ahead, but you'll need iTunes and you'll need to downgrade uh, pretty quickly, probably. iPhone 6S Plus with battery drain. 6S Plus, they still haven't fixed the lock screen music player. I've seen that a couple times from a few people. And one of the other bugs someone emailed me about, I haven't seen this, and my iPhone 7 Plus is charging here, but they said if you go into a dark app, wait for it to, I guess, wait for it to, to change the brightness. If you're on auto brightness, I'm always on auto brightness. Maybe go through, look at this, tap the screen. They have issues with contrast. I've been trying to reproduce what they've said, and I haven't had that issue, so I'm not sure exactly what they mean. Now we'll scroll down. Terrible. My new battery capacity is just 96% after five months on iPhone 10 and battery backup was better in previous versions. Again, that's still in beta. So I would just kind of ignore that really. And it, it's not a big deal until you get down to about 80, 85%. Okay. But still some bugs. iPhone seven. I had a screen recording bug. Couldn't get it to stop. Had to restart device and had to charge twice today. And I'm thinking what's using a lot of people's battery is if they turned iMessage in iCloud or messages in iCloud on that had to update a lot of different information. And that may have taken some time and drained a lot of people's battery. So a lot of people are saying, great, iPhone 10, better every version. Okay, but still some bugs. Performance is better, but not as much as 10.3.3. Battery life is okay, not as iOS 10. I'm curious what everybody got on iOS 10. I actually get much better battery life on 11.3, on 11.4, 11 or iOS 11. Noticed improvement in battery on an iPhone 6. And let's take a look. No bugs or issues. Someone commented a day ago too it says iphone 7 seems to have similar performance i would say at this point if you haven't upgraded you may want to do that unless you're looking for a jailbreak uh, that's something you got to be a little bit careful about because you can't do it with ios 11.4 now one thing to keep in mind is that on monday june 4th we're going to see ios 12 and beta 1 will be out for developers most likely and then the public beta usually comes out around developer beta 2 or 3 the problem with this is until about beta three, it's really unstable. So I wouldn't recommend it to anyone on their main device. I'll use it on my main device, but it's really painful to use. And it's a pain in the neck because battery is usually terrible on the first beta. But we could see a change since Apple is really focusing on stability with iOS 12 or so they say. 
So we'll see what that that happens to be. I'll be sure to do a follow up though with what's new in iOS 12 and everything like that. And let me know your thoughts on what you'd like to see next from Apple. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, I'll link this wallpaper in the description below. Thanks again to Fed Marzouk for sending this one along. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>